Hello YouTube, so my Frozen Mini 8K has just developed a problem. I'm going to try and reach out to Frozen customer support to see if they can help me out. But my Z-Arm has started buzzing when it's moving down. Now it doesn't do it when it moves up. As you can hear, if you listen carefully, if you turn your volume up. When it moves down, it starts buzzing. So after yesterday and finding the buzzing when the um, Z-Rod was going down or when the build plate was being lowered, and um, today it looks like I found this blob of resin on the actual Z-Rod. So what I'm wondering, has, um, has resin splashed out of my vat, landed on the arm and possibly got caught in the, the actual Z-screw up here or in the turn screw? Possibly that's what's causing my buzzing. I did notice it a lot more when it was further down. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to use IPA, I'm going to clean this up and then I'm going to apply some white lithium grease. So I'm just using an old toothbrush. I normally use this for cleaning miniatures after I've run them through the um, ultrasonic cleaner um, in IPA. So um, this is coming quite handy actually. You can see all the amount of dirt that's come out of the actual Z-Rod. So I'm just using that to scrub in between the actual lines as I go up with the cloth and spray on more alcohol. So now I'm going to actually lower the arm. And then I'm just going to do the same on the top part of the Z-Rod. So I'm just going to give this a good clean and a good scrub. Next I've just got some WD-40. Different brand but it's the same stuff. So this is just a um, silicon spray lubricant. So I'm going to give this a squirt on the top and in the actual bit of the Z-screw. I think that's the word for it. And I'm going to bring the arm up and down a few times just to make sure it's nice and clean. Good idea to actually cover the screen, make it a bit easier. So for our final step, we've got some white lithium grease. I'll be spraying this onto a tissue and rubbing it onto our Z-Rod. So once I've sprayed this stuff on, I'm going to run the build plate up and down a few times and then I'll blot off any excess grease with the tissue paper. So after last night's failure and our Z-Rod making a horrendous grinding noise, 
has this fixed the issue? Yes, it has. Now, at first, I thought that this wasn't going to work because when I was lowering the build plate afterwards and doing a calibration, it sounded a little bit still noisy. Um, but I think that's just because the plate was lowering so fast that it was um, amplifying any sort of little noises that it might make. I did a test print a moment ago, so we've got some 3D printed heads on the build plate at the moment. And while that was printing the whole time, it was nice and smooth, no grinding noise. So this is just a reminder, make sure you take good care of your 3D printer, especially if you're using a lot. I've been using this one now since January, so we're looking at about eight months now. Um, I've been trying to do routine maintenance on it where possible, but it hasn't let me down yet until now. So remember, Make sure you maintain your 3D printer.